Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the color matrix node. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. Shift space and we're going to look for the color matrix node. We're going to go ahead and add that. And I'm going to be honest with you right off the bat. <laughs> I really don't know exactly what this node is for. I know what it does, but I'm not sure if it's true intent. The fusion manual simply states, and I'm going to read it straight from it. The color matrix allows a vast number of operations to modify values individually in the different color channels. And that is it. So it offers some examples and different stuff to do, but uh, it's kind of enigma, this note itself. I have used it and I'll show you how I've used it for uh, a weird grungy effect. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over what I know of this node. So up here, you'll see this weird matrix, this update lock. All I know is if you click it, you try to make a change. It's not going to change it until you uncheck, then you can start making changes. As far as the invert node, apparently the invert node just inverts the matrix. So this is, this is a little confusing. So I'm going to bring up the actual fusion and drag it over so we can see kind of how they laid this out in the, the actual fusion manual. So you can see what's going on. So basically these rows, you've got a five and five. So all these in this row right here are your color outs. So red out, green out, blue out, and your alpha out. And these additional channels at the end are adds. So you can see these are plus, but they're missing the bottom, the bottom row. So the next column is your ins. All these are ins and they're all multiplied. This last column is an addition. So I'll kind of just show you real quick. So this is our red out. This is our red in. So if we add or multiply it by one, you can see we're getting a redder value. If we add it by one at the end, we're getting a different value because it's no longer multiplying. You can see it's adding to the actual color. It's just like uh, when we add or multiply when we're doing those operations. So you, you can see if I say get rid of the green channel, we no longer have green, it's just red and blue. So exactly what these operations do, uh, I'm not sure the intent of this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of how I used it because you can actually put negative values in here. In my effect that I did, I just removed the blue channel from my green and then from my blue I removed to get that result. So I'll go ahead and build this. I'll probably fast forward it so you don't have to sit here and watch me do everything, but it, it was a pretty quick effect. So that's the effect I created for a music video and it was all based off this color matrix node. That's it. So that's the color matrix node. 
have fun playing with it and I'll see you in the next node.